the sake of our future, for the sake of our children. I think it is important for us. Because of the high amount of loan or debt on the state, the amount of money left after running day-to-day -day operations is minuscule, and therefore we don't have scope for development unless we bring in central funds. Konda Vishweshwareti is a candidate who has not only a clean record, but an engineering background. He was also the CEO of Wipro Healthcare IT uh, after he sold his software to GE and Wipro. He led that company for two years and then was in another business when he was called into politics. He has served, whether he was in power as a member of parliament or not, he's created various social service schemes, whether it's the cleaning of toilets in over 230 schools, every single day his trucks go. But it's not just that the trucks go. He created a mechanism where there is a respect for the person who does the cleaning. Because number one, he did it himself. And number two, these sanitation warriors wear boots, wear gloves, have a hose pipe, and are given a good salary while they also continue their agriculture. This respect, in fact, when Arun Jaitley visited before he, uh, his sad demise, he recognized these warriors and brought them a respect in the community. Like this, he works deep on sustainable, replicable models whether it is ecotourism, rural employment, and a reflection of many of the schemes, the proliferation of the mudra scheme for women, the concept of SME or startup, he's among the early uh, founders of Indian Angel Network, therefore bringing in startups and supporting women in startup environments, whether it's millets and a healthy living, proper agriculture and planning, he created a tomato processing unit so that the farmers get more value addition for their crop. There are multiple things that he has done. I'm not going to go into, into detail now, but I do request you to scan the small card that will be given. You'll see a profile of the candidate. You'll see his social media links, and if you want to explore more. But most importantly, for the development of the country, I request all of you to please, on May 13th, come out and vote. Vote for progress vote for your country, and vote for the fact that as an educated member of the population, even though the voting ratio in the educated community is less, it's time for us to pick that up. So I request all of you, and I challenge all of you, to create a change in the number of people who vote. And while you're voting, choose the right candidate and the right party. Thank you so much, and namaste. I would also like to say that I did not touch upon the multiple needs of the urban community because we realize that not only is there development, but one of the significant policies that he is trying to bring about is the methodology of devolving a percentage of your tax into local governance bodies. Because it is you who understands whether you need a sidewalk or an overbridge, whether you need more STP plants because the sewage is mixing in the lakes whether your parks need rejuvenation or multiple other things. And it is for this reason that I believe that an enlightened person who can tap into central funds for urban rejuvenation would be the right candidate for you. So once again, many thanks for a patient hearing and our commitment. We have a helpline. We will share that number with you. You can reach out to us on any of the social media handles. Plus, with God's grace, if we are elected, once in four to six months, we will have urban housing colony presidents meeting to stay in touch with you and keep up to the commitments that we promised before the elections. Thank you all very much and namaste. issues actually has been noted down and they have given it uh, It is been there. Uh, I am addressing you as well as I am addressing to the corporator too. So that actually, uh, you are the issues. Let me thank you all for being so organized. Very often many communities ask and I always have one person with a notebook because in the flurry of meetings that we're doing, it's very difficult to keep track. But you all are very organized. You've put the paper here. I promise you that this will go into our overall manifesto detailed collection box. 
to whichever level we can, we will reflect it in the manifesto. We will make a note of it. We are not the state government. But what we can do is add our voice and the cooperator will come with you or represent on your behalf the problems that you have and do our best to make a difference. On large projects, like I said, we would tap into central funds to create urban rejuvenation. But with this, um, I, I see the point on the substations. I also see the point on the streetlights for the main road. The fact that there are lots of accidents happening and therefore traffic is accelerating. We need to find a way to do road dividers to, exert, to prevent accidents. And the new neighbor on the south side has started construction of a massive building. However, the work that should stop should not be between 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. This is a very genuine request. All of them actually are. But this is something that you can do immediately. Because if you're disturbing the sleep of the community, how will they have a healthy life? So we will do our very best to pick these up. Especially for number one, we can do something to start at least uh, uh, requesting almost immediately. Thank you all very much for your time and looking forward to your support. Namaste and thank you. Thank you so much, Sangeet Parikhari, for taking it up on our issues, actually, as well as with the team you come up with, the BJP team. And we wish you all the best in the production of uh, Once you scan the card, uh, you will see a profile of the candidate, yeah. but you will also see... Your